Okay, this is part of a process that I developed, uh, I don't know, about three or four years ago. I call it the floating board. Um, you see where I cut this out? This raises the uh, model up about an eighth of an inch. So when you go to pour it, when you clean it, you're not filing directly under the feet of your model. Let me show you. Let's see, there's that one. You know, I'll have to center it better when I go to mount it. I ain't mounted it yet, and there's that one. Um, you got a hole here on the mountain board. Which I'll put a hole here and here. That'll help vent. Whenever you're putting rubber on, it's nice to have a a vent draft or air pressure, you know, like if air pressure starts building up, if that hole ain't there, it can come back out through that way. See you guys. Okay, here we are again. And I might not explain too much about the uh, hole in the bottom. It's a vent. Uh, sort of like gas. You want the gas to get out of the way so you rubber don't balloon that's what it is i wanted to get that across don't want your rubber ballooning and it does happen all right there's a baseboard on this one and uh i'm mounting it with tape which you don't have to tape it you don't have to use tape you can use whatever you want to glue or whatever you see the hole cut there anyway just regular old tape but good tape you use electric tape. This is good sticky tape. Anyway, I'll show you in a little bit more when I mount them. See you guys. Now. Okay, I put tape on the wrong side, which is okay. I got to mount both sides. So, there you go. Just got to center it up pretty good. Yeah, there you go. That side sticking. Then I want to get over this hole here and that sort of draft. All right. Uh, I think that's close. Yep. Oops. Yep. There you go. That's good. Okay. Got both cats mounted uh, to the board. You can see the floating board. Anyway. Tiger, I want to do a little something different with him. He's, he's mounted on his floating board, but I want to put a seam under his chin. He is real tough to pull out of there. Uh, let's see if I can hold my camera right. And, uh, uh, yeah, this will go right there. I'll put a coat of rubber on and then mount that right there. And before I put rubber on, I'm gonna shellac both of them. Just one coat, just just for security. All right. Uh, they both got good texture, and they're both been cleaned good. And uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Uh, if we start putting rubber on, um, I like to put on rubber, kind of thin to start with and I'll show you you gotta make sure you get the eyes and the face and the nose real good pretty thin but I like coming back with a thicker coat right behind this coat brush in brush out best you can okay All right. I'll see you yeah while well, there's the ears yeah Alright, we'll get them in there. Alright. That's enough right now. Okay, here's my first thin layer, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to say half a layer. Because I'm going to come back with a thicker coat. I'm going to use this brush here. And then I'll come back. And add a lot more thicker stuff to it. And then I'll rig it back out. Hard to do it with hands. But anyway, 
You see what I'm saying? I'll coat it and I'll ray it back out. I'll show you later. Okay, put it on thick. As you can see. Now I'm fixing to rack it back off. Right. You seen the thin coat? Now thick coat and fixing to rack it off. All right. Show you in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> First layer, second layer, whatever you want to call it. Rake it in, brush it on, rake it out. So a little brush. I'm putting with a little seam under the tiger cubs. Chin. It needed it. Really did. Uh pretty good it. Alright. That's what the first layer looks like. Looks thick, don't it? I'd rather have it thick than thin. Put it on thin, then add a little bit more, and dab, break, whatever. Thin coats, uh, I think it made stuff peel and don't work right. All right, see you guys. Okay, we got two coats on here now. Uh, ain't much to show. Uh, boss does a little bit different than I do. Uh, I'm putting coats on. She put two coats on this cat, which is fine. Everybody does a little bit different. That's two coats. No seam on him. Uh, the tiger, I think he really needed one out of that chin. That's a hard pull. But anyway, that'll make it easier. That's two coats. And I probably won't see you much until coat number eight, whatever. Uh, Different rubber is going to give you different thicknesses of layers, so you got to learn your rubber. See you guys.